Okay, this is Music Man 0150, also known as Gary, and this is part two of the CCTV Panasonic Pair Monitors, or however you want to call it. And this is going to be the actual demonstration now of each one. So what I'm going to do first is kind of move over a little bit, and we're going to turn on the the uh, 196 model first. As you can hear, it's got good sound. And right now there's just a, a bar going across, so let me fix that. There we are. And we'll put a channel on. Again, this is going through the cable box. So we're going to try to find an old show that, that'll look good. And the movie channel on demand. Usually TV Land has some old shows, so we'll do that. You encouraged him to try the big boy cup. You're nuts. Yeah, right you now we have a commercial. Clean what your husband just wiped up. Then you're a magician. And if a new paper Turn it down just a little bit so you can hear me. Then wouldn't you use it? Introducing new Now as you can see, it's got a real good picture on it. And the sound also works good too. Okay, that's the 196 model. Now let's go ahead and turn on the 195 model. Is the $1,000 deductible too high? And as you can see on this one, it even has a pilot lamp. I'll show you that in just a minute, but I'll let you see the, uh, the picture warm up first. There are a lot of new things at Time Warner Media Sales. We have a new local sales manager, and we can help target your customers with the power of paper and as you notice, this one takes a little bit longer to warm up because it's an older model and the uh, picture tube is probably starting to go. But it still has a great image. So um, it's, it's a really good model. Both of these, both of these uh, monitors actually are built like tanks. Well, the, 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 the 195 is like a tank. I mean, that's probably a monitor maybe even from the, the late 60s when they first started with solid state because it's all hand-wired. It's a hand-wired chassis. So it's probably from the late 60s. The other one, this one over here, the 196 model is probably uh, early 70s because it's printed circuit board. So let me show you that pilot lamp that I promised you on the 195. There it is right there. And that, that's a good indication to let you know that it is working or that it has power. So there you go. Both pair, we, we can say it's a pair of Panasonic TV monitors. And uh, let me see if I can move back a little bit. And that way you can see, you can see both of them at the same time. And there's both of them operating really well. And I wanted to, I wanted to do this before I put them back in storage because I'm going to be putting them back in storage tomorrow. So I wanted to show these to all you vintage TV and electronic fans out there that probably never realized that these existed, and they do, and that you can use them for anything as long as you have a video source like a VCR camera, DVD player. Uh, TV game, you know, computer, like a Commodore 64 or something like that. You can use them for anything like that. Of course, it's black and white, but if you ever like to have that vintage look, especially for television like it is now, this is probably one of the best ways to go. Because then you can have a real good clear picture and still have the vintage classic black and white view. I'll give you a close-up of each one one more time. There's the 195 model. 
what I want. Oh, is it for sale? My pop told me I was a little kid. Everything's got a price. And here's the 196 model. How much do you want for the land? Twenty dollars. I beg your pardon. Forty dollars. And here's both once more. So. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments about it, uh, please leave them. And probably for you vintage TV fans out there, I'm sure you'll be watching this one a lot. Knowing that you can do little tricks with old monitors such as this. Turning it into a television set without a tuner. So until next time, have a great day, and I'll be sharing more with you soon.